The Arkansas River was first sighted in 1540 by the Coronado Expedition. The water from the river flows out of John Martin Reservoir in Colorado. This is a picture of the dam at John Martin. The dam was built between 1939 and 1948. The river runs through the Kansas counties Kearney, Finney, Gray, Ford, Edwards, Pawnee, Barton, Rice, Reno, Sedwick, Cowley, and Sumer. The river has been called the Nile of America because of its length. In 2015, the river began to flow because of the Kansas-Colorado Pact. With the pact, Colorado has to release a small amount of water every year to Kansas. Before the pact, the river was dry for many years. The drainage area for the Arkansas River is 177,510 square miles. One of the few floods that the Arkansas River has had was the flood of 1965, which was called the granddaddy of all floods because of its size. There was a lot of water outside of the banks, resulting from Colorado getting a lot of rain and hail. Kansas, Colorado, and Oklahoma were the states damaged from the flood. At the time, the river in Syracuse was 22 feet long. Happening on June 17, 1965, it was one of the biggest news stories in Kansas. It took the lives of two people and had an estimated damage of $22 million. <gasps> The river branches off into ditches for irrigation. There are five ditches spread across Hamilton, Kearney, and Finney County. The two main ditches are the Amazon and the south side. The construction of the Amazon ditch was in 1888 and ended in 1890. The construction took a team of 15 men, 30 horses, and two graders. It was made for irrigation purposes on the north side of the Arkansas River. Mr. C.J. Jones, also known as Buffalo Jones, who started the ditch. The ditch was originally made to be 90 miles, but at the end, the Amazon ditch is only 33 miles long. It goes right above the lake, and then we dump into the lake right here. And then it goes on around here. Here's where Plover lives. It goes on up here. Here's where, uh, I'm trying to see if upside down here. Yeah, here's where Larry Combs lives right here. And then this is cemetery right here. Anyway, it goes over here and then it ends up right over here by Joe Esklin's house. Then, in 1904 is when the Farmers Association bought the Amazon ditch. After they bought it, they had to figure out how to get water to the fields. So they used siphon tubes to irrigate the fields. Now we just use sprinklers to irrigate. The Amazon ditch made an agreement to fill Lake McKinney before the Great Eastern Ditch filled it. The Great Eastern Ditch pays some of the expenses for the Amazon Ditch to fill the lake. The Great Eastern Ditch now uses the Amazon Ditch head gates to get their water, then they split off from there. The Amazon Ditch starts over by Tyndall and ends over by the northeast corner of Kearney County. Head gates on the Amazon Ditch were getting old, so they had to build new flumes. The flumes are located by the Fair Building in Lake and Kansas. The construction of the Southside Ditch was started in 1881 by C.H. Longstreet by teams of men and mules and some equipment. The construction was finished in 1883. C.H. Longstreet was, was hired to build a ditch to water fields on the south side of the Arkansas River. The water comes from the Arkansas River along with four other ditches, the Amazon, the Great Eastern, the Farmer, and the Garden City Ditches. The head gates are seven miles west of Lakin by Kendall and was built in the beginning and has many new ones from then. The ditch runs from Kendall and 19 miles over to Deerfield. In the 1900s, the United States Irrigation Company sold the ditch to the Southside Ditch Association. <laughs>